Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Oh, she's actually doing it! Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. warrior. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy. Back. We are on chapter 9 and it's called Desperate Times. I like Times. killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. We almost what died in the last episode and... She, she made a choice. I don't know where Gamora you went. you still abandon her and Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Oh! Oh, she appreciated my trust. I'm glad, I'm glad. You got him, though? Is that...? Yes. Is he dead? Or did you just get his arm? Get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. Oh, damn Burn it. Now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket. Yo, this ain't the time, dude. What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. You forgot an A. <laughs> I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. Still not working? Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. What's that? Really? Mean? Groot should be able to race. What? He lied? Or he's just saying that now. Okay. <laughs> There's Sounds no mama. like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not okay. slice through anything in that cargo bag. Oh, I can we give her the doll and everything. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of stuff we have to do. Hang on a second. Harsh. Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw ourselves to the Florkins. Right, Drax? Yes. What's up with Drax? Is he still okay? Because he was he was acting as if like we were still stuck in like this is not none of this is real, remember? So I'm kinda worried about him. So uh Drax, you feeling sucky because Quill took my side? Okay, I'll look at the he arm in a second. He did not. Sp shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. Shoo, flark off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, it's calling me out because like I don't know engineer? my own ship. You don't. <laughs> Where did Drax go? Drax? Drax? I want to make sure he's okay. I don't think he's okay. Anybody in there? Drax? Are you okay? Open up! Peter Quill. Are you gonna join us in the cockpit? You had a lot of dog report items for Cosmo. Perhaps I will. I'll write them down. Drax. You Apologies. okay? I will surrender the lavatory. In a few ticks. Wait. Was that my toothbrush? <laughs> Everybody's using his toothbrush, but what's up with him? That's a little bit concerning. Um, where's Gamora? Quill and I don't need to make up. <laughs> oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> uh, Gamora, I was only looking. Relax, I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I uh, actually, 
never got a chance to say thank you. You're welcome. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Yeah, that's okay. Something Mantis says I need to work on. Uh, Celestial Madonna, Christmas with Thanos. Let's ask about Thanos. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? <laughs> <laughs> he gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just You know, at this point Peter should just shut sure the hell up. going to be a knife or something. <laughs> like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears and Laughed. Turns out the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. Damn! To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's. I can't imagine. Nebula did. Thanos was a dick, though, so. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula. After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but I guess I'd do it for her. Damn, this got real sad real fast. Jesus. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. <laughs> I was half expecting her to start I like Mantis though. I really like her rum. in this game. They got her pretty what? more accurate with, with the comic matter. books rather Point than like is, the MCU version of Mantis. Sure. A really I really like her in this game. Hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... Lonely. After the war, the resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Mm. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? I don't think that's true. Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. That's good. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. 
You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Aww, that was really wholesome. She's like, I gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> that was really what sweet, though. What's wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. Oh, gosh, here we go again. Peter, we need... Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... Until, yeah. No one could have she... predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? Wait, can we actually? Uh... I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival, especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. I so think close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yondu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No, we didn't. And now, now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. Yikes, I, what I was gonna say was like, I don't think Nikki will be like, mad about it because like looking at her memories and stuff like that she in her her room she really was just wanting to know and have the confirmation that her dad is peter she just wants to know who he is i don't think it's a matter of like she she cares about how that it happened sure it'd be like a little bit weird but i don't think she'd be like oh my god you just slept with my mom blah 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 why did you leave me i think she just wanted to know that her dad was there because she doesn't know him Corel never told me about nikki she had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. Oh, God. Can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah. What? I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid. Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he disagreed. So I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Oh, uh -huh. that's... <laughs> Look, that's very awkward. After the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki. And she didn't. If I had known, maybe... No, I think she was just... The important thing is that you know now. Right. I think yeah. she just didn't think he's uh, mature enough anyway, to like. It's Peter, right? Until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger. So she fish would to rather cry. not stuff can subject wait. her daughter to that True. because she knows that her daughter's but very crushable. And it. if, if it uh, is just actually with her. Peter's daughter, Nikki place. is exactly like Peter. Yeah. So 
She gets into a lot of trouble, right. so I feel like Corel didn't want her daughter to be like him. You know? That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Alright, let me talk to Rocket. Hey Rocket, you got a minute? I bought something in nowhere to remove that Novacore lock. <laughs> the, the guy said it was a lock disabler. I got scammed, Not didn't I? He said junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without rocket. <laughs> I got scammed. I knew it. I just yeah, wanted to see I what happened, you. though. That's funny. Okay, I don't think I can upgrade anything because I don't have that much like material, right? Yeah, I can't oh, do anything. That effort and nothing shiny to show for it. Shame. Why do they always leave the leave the fridge open? Jesus. Okay, let me go down here. What is happening down here? Uh... According to this, the collector reported Groot stolen 14 years ago. Ahem. Can we help you? Stolen? Hey, Rocket, Groot. Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 <laughs> Groot doesn't mind. <laughs> Groot, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot Aww. says he'll answer your stupid questions. Groot's so sweet. What happened to your home world? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What happened? What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. Aw, Groot! How'd you end up with the Collector in the first the place? The wholesome member of the bunch. What do you think? <laughs> he stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. Uh-huh. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I, I mean, how many times has Groot, like, regrown himself, right? He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I have a drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a das cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it still active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, Groot, for... You know... Obvious, obvious reasons, because we can't understand him. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am... He says he knows, and he's grateful. Aww, I wonder how Groot 
cute. Groot's so cute. Watch it, Peter. You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Uh, break into song? <laughs> okay. All right. No talking. <laughs> Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? <laughs> you feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. She's gonna punch him in the face. I don't wanna tame your animal style. You won't be changed <laughs> in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of Oh, she's actually doing it! Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang! I, I am the warrior. warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See, just singing. All right, I like that one. Gets me every time. That's so cute. What did you want to talk about? I'm glad that we can make her happy. Okay, let's ask about Raker, because what the hell happened? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think. <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. It's probably no, Nebula. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just. Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? Okay, all right. Just... Glad we got her singing, though. What do you think, bud? Now that Contraxia is gone, what's going to be the new hotspot for entertainment? I am Groot. An asteroid, huh? Huh. Smart. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel, but that's as close as I'm getting to this flarking cult ever again. I mean, yeah, it's it's an arm. All right, let me go to the console. Hope somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. Talk to Groot. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> uh. Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person <laughs> to discuss it with. Yeah, because we don't understand him. <laughs> and Groot knows it too. You and Rocket should definitely talk about it though. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. Alright, let me get to the console now. Anything yet? Guardian of oh, there we go, Cosmo. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time, but Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Uh. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. <gasps> Hello? Who the fuck's that? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh my god, are you Good. serious? Who the fuck are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. 
but my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A <laughs> uh, Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Yeah, I Listen, see that. I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends of her guards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Now what? Probably. <sighs> Be Captain Glory in the Lethal Legion. Why are they named that? Hit them hard and give no quarter. Wait, uh. Worth nothing on that guard. Ah! Worth salvaging. Where am I? I'm taking fire. Ah! <laughs> I don't know Can't where to turn. Can we just turn. send an IOU to Lady H? She'll want a payment in blood. Probably yours. Got that guy. Okay, hang on. The controls are a little bit weird. I gotta get like used to this. But this is kind of cool. And feed your ego? No, thank you. These guys have really bad timing. Starting to wish I'd stayed in dog jail. Yeah, kind of me too. Wait, let me turn this way. Jeez, uh, how much money did she offer these guys? More than that ravager heat's worth. Got that guy. Are you brute? Which one's the Stop stupid captain orders, Glory, Whatever. You don't even know how to fly her. Ow. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just make sure you're shooting while you do it. I'm trying. I really am. Uh. Drop out and get a better angle if you get to Only fly. one lethal lame brain left. <laughs> what is all we need? <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, Peter is still alive. I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. Wait, is that him? So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. Okay, that's not good. Oh, okay, that's not good. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? What do I shoot? <gasps> Nothing. It's I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. Do I have to keep dodging? I don't know what to shoot at. Hang on a second. Lady Skull Suit us the worst flock in timing. Is she here? Just her goons. This time. Oh, there's Drax. That did some real damage. Keep hitting oh, his exhaust ports. Oh, shit. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Yeah, he kind of did, didn't he? Okay, so I got to uh, dodge his stupid-ass lasers. Starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. Uh, no, we are the guardians. Anyway. Oh, shit. Morons. Protect our ports. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Feel bad, Quill. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Ooh, right 
light up the exhaust port. We really gotta take better care of the Milano. Yeah, we were a ship wash and a wax when this is all over. Right after you patched up all the holes. I am Clary, warrior of. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I doubt we've seen the last of her. Don't we'll worry yeah, she's about probably Lady gonna come back and bother later. us Let's again. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Alright, no more Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. Had to leave. Now the supplies are yellow. Need access to facilities. Swear not to leave them. Won't get jealous now. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. No. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, right. Rocket. We'll just call I the think, station and ask to speak uh, to the world. I just have a feeling. Groot. The church got them. If they already got Cosmo, right? Welcome to Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. What if I put like a different language? <laughs> I kind of want to see. Requel, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. Nah, -uh, not letting you do that. <laughs> How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. No neglect profiling us? That ain't okay. Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Yeah, she's not in contact with them. Just pick something, Peter. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. She what is dead. Worth? I'm sorry, Quill. Me oh, too. wow. Thanks, Rocket. Okay, we'll do World Mind. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize Why? for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Okay. Join no Corps. Congratulations on your decision to, to join, join the Corps. Corps. To, to begin, begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Quill's mom! <laughs> this strategy is futile. Oh, Richard Ryder. On, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please please state you. your celestial body or oh, artificial <laughs> the answer for me! Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. <laughs> Not today. Nine hundred and ninety-nine right. years. Well, that was fun, but a complete what waste the of time. fuck? Okay, the criminal ideas? offenses. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. God damn it. How about future crime? Great idea. Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We should tell Turn, turn, pay a fine? Connecting to banking services. Because we didn't need to pay a fine. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. <laughs> Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise. Is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. That's the thing. It, it was nine. so. You see how many Roger people were three. there when we saw that? Seventy-five point two 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 percent of the Andromeda galaxy, galaxy. all lost. Jesus. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They actually. The world mind is a collective consciousness. Mm. Look. They are the non-binary. Close and personal. <laughs> We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop Or I guess they're all different people together, clear? but you know what I mean. The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty okay. sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well... How to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. <laughs> still alive. Well, because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. So the point is, <laughs> we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. Damn, what the hell? Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a That's your whole point! Wait. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The, the risk, risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We, we cannot, cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds. Call it. You're scared. You're 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 honestly a coward. That is why they fail. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand, and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional state not seem convinced by any of your arguments? Damn it! So what are we supposed to say? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are pleased 
You reached the same conclusion? We did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, All Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! <sighs> Great, Classic that didn't do Nova anything. Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. What? <sighs> Stupid thing. Told you no current lock disabler unless uh, uses junk. You were scammed. <laughs> Great. Um. All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Yeah, Once we might as well just get it off, off. We'll be sitting ducks. Right. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. Where? I'm Groot. They're taking off. Turning towards us? Or no, they're really taking off. Never mind. Uh, Quill. Ah. Quill, I see it. <sighs> Son of a schmack. The church. Just getting absorbed just like that? We're accepting the promise. We got a jump, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys, and how uh, are we guys hello? That? We're dead in the flock and uh, we Hello? Freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. He's still saying okay? scoff. I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. He's going to start dreaming about his mom again, right? I think so. Or not. Relax in your Ooh, quarters. Noble core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. I know. Drax, you okay? Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. <sighs> Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. I don't like that. I'm a little bit worried about him. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. Oh, God. Yep. Okay, well. Forgot your toast. All 
Alright, let me go to my room. I don't think, um, what's his face is gonna let me talk to him, right? Gosh. Don't call me Rocky. I don't call you Brody. Where's my room? Oh, why is the llama in here? Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. And the bed smells. Great. Ew. He's getting sleepy. We have a shit. This is our room. Why is it so Wait, small? what? <laughs> Look at you. Me. Who? Oh. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on! The talking raccoon's waiting for you! Everybody is! Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not! Stop running! And we've landed! Uh... We've landed? Where? <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Wait, so we're you in the flew quarantine us zone? all the way here. Yep. Without asking. Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh, and then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. How did we land here? Once we're outside, should I be looking around, lifting stuff? Only if you want to get your hands all sticky. Wait for my signal before you touch anything. Most of the debris out here is junk, and we still got a whole scudding church up our butts. Yeah, almost forgot about that. All the more reason to find those spare parts, fix the ship, and Oh, spread. okay, so that's why we're here. Okay, gotcha. There, let's go. Why is Look who really stumbled out of bed. Weird, I don't know. They why did he see himself? In your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... I think he's having a nightmare. Nikki! Guys, don't let it get to you! Won't have to tell me twice! Wait, huh? Oh shit! Oh, okay, this is me! Nobody hurts my friend! Oh no. Yeah, I think he's having a nightmare. It's too fast, Peter! Samara! We cannot outrun the beast, Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Honor my death! Anybody? No, they're all gone. We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? Oh, <laughs> wait a second. No! This is over! I think I have to let it get him, right? We can't keep running away from our problems. It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! 
Yeah, I have to face- he has to face his fears. Okay guys, we're gonna end the episode there because I think the next chapter is happening. And yeah, there's a lot going on now that everything's kind of catching up with him. I'm kind of concerned about Drax though. He doesn't seem okay because he just seems so confused, if, if that's the right way of saying it. But the team is still falling apart. We don't know where Nikki is. Nobody's coming to save us because Nova Corpse is just gone. And we're supposed to be the hero. And it's, it's a matter of fact if, if Peter can take that responsibility. Like he's supposed to take responsibility about a lot of things. Example, like Nikki, which he kind of is. He's trying to help her. So... I don't know how I feel about this because next part probably gonna be bad though. Because uh, that nightmare, if, that, if that's telling us anything, he has to confront them. Whatever that thing is in the, I think the Mind Stone, right? Whatever was in the Mind Stone, we have to confront that. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Guardians of the Galaxy, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you again to Square Enix for providing me a copy of this game. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!